All right, Nick, let's talk about the Chicago Bears. This is a team going the last week of the season. They are looking towards the future, and that immediate future is the NFL draft. And we have a story on their draft hopes and, you know, kind of the overall plan and, you know, the plan going even further than the draft after that as well. And we'll get into that in just a moment. But Bears fans, uh, I got to know in the comments below, you know, there's still one game left this season. You never know what's going to happen. Peterman comes in, maybe has the game of his life trying to prove, uh, you know, one big backup contract. You never know. Uh, but you're going to play the Vikings. I want to know, what do you think the final score of the Bears-Vikings game is? Do they put up a fight? Do they even have a chance to win the game? Let us know in the comments below. But uh, Nick, before we get into this story, I just want everyone uh, to know to stay tuned to the end of the video uh, to hear a special offer from our new partner, Mint Mobile. That's going to be at the end of the video. But Nick, what do we have on the Bears? Yeah, so the Bears, I'm sure a lot of Bears fans have wanted to fast forward to the end of the season. But now that they're here, there's actually some potential good news and a smart move for the Chicago Bears. They're playing a long game here, and I'm going to explain why. You kind of alluded to it, Mize, that the Bears have decided to sit Justin Fields for this game due to a hip strain. Nathan Peterman will start. This, of course, sounded kind of strange because obviously Justin Fields has been battling numerous injuries throughout the season, especially the last month or so. And he has played through that. And then Eberflus and company have gone with Fields as they're started, even, to, uh, even despite potentially resting him or, or shutting him down for the season, despite the injuries. And the reason why, Mize, and I think this is really smart, they waited till now, is the fact that going into this final week of the season, the number one overall draft pick in 2023 is still up for grabs and this was all according to yard barker that that pointed out to me first is that the fact is if the houston texans find a way to beat the colts the colts are bad the texans have been kind of feisty lately i wouldn't be surprised if the texans win that game actually and the chicago bears lose to the minnesota vikings then the bears will have the number one overall draft pick in 2023 now my why does this matter it because of it matters because Everybody wants a quarterback that needs a quarterback in this draft. It's a quarterback top heavy draft. The Bears obviously have fields. He's the quarterback of the future. They're not going to draft a quarterback, not with a number one overall pick, probably not with any pick in this draft. But this gives them so much ammo to make a huge move to potentially trade down, whether it's with Houston to get make sure Houston would then would be number two. Hey, Houston, if there's a guy you really want number one overall, you're gonna have to give up something to move up to number one or somebody else that wants to leapfrog Houston, right? It puts them in a great position to make a huge move to get lots of draft picks, maybe some veteran players, some extra big pieces surround fields and the rest of this offense or add pieces to a defense that really needs it no matter what. Losing this game against Minnesota is actually the biggest game of the season for the Chicago Bears. And there's no guy I want behind center if I want to lose a game than Nathan Peterman. I think quietly this is actually a really smart, really big move for the long term for the Chicago Bears. Miles, what, what do you think of my thoughts on this? Am I just being a little too out there or, or, or am I on to something here? I think uh, no one will admit that they want to lose. I don't think that the Bears fans really want to lose. But I think they understand what the best move uh, for the future of this team is, and that's to get the highest draft pick possible. Heck, it's the last game of the season, and the Bears are battling for the number one overall draft pick. They're not making any playoff pushes. Uh, you're not going to develop any players in one game. What I think they need to do is, uh, if there's guys you want to try to develop, let them be out there. But you know, rest the starters. Uh, it's a, a rest the starters game to try to lose this game, in a sense, to the Vikings and go after that number one overall pick. Nick, I think that would be huge. I think they could get a, a big bounty. You know, they could trade to the Texans, but I think there's some other teams uh, sniffing around out there that maybe want to trade up and give them even more uh, possibility for that number one overall pick, which would be absolutely huge because the Bears have a quarterback, Nick, and that is not what they need. That is obviously what the uh, first pick of this draft is probably going to be bolstered around whether it's Bryce Young, Will Levis, CJ Stroud. Nobody knows yet, but I think it's a really smart move. I don't think you're like too far off of your rocker quite yet. I think uh, it makes sense to a lot of Bears fans when they think about it. Listen, uh, losing this game is for the best. Benching fields for the last game of the season is for the best. And uh, probably one of the worst performances I've ever seen in my football watching career was done by Nathan Peterman. So, as you said, he is a tank commander, and he is like able that. to lose this game. That's the guy that I trust to be behind the helm of the Chicago Bears football team. Well, and, and even Bears fans will understand that, like, getting in a position 
to get someone to leapfrog you or want to move in your position to draft a quarterback is really advantageous because the Bears were on the other side of it when they moved up one spot to pick Trubisky a number of years ago. They gave up a lot of draft capital, move up just one spot to get them, right? How much would you rather be on the other end of it now where you get to move back one spot potentially with someone, whether it's Houston or someone else that wants to get a Bryce Young or CJ Stroud or Will Levis or whoever, you know, and just isn't willing to risk it. You get a huge amount of draft capital just from that. And, and But even if you remove the draft capital and trade aside, Mice, according to the draft capital chart, I love this chart. I love talking draft already. So even though it's just January, the difference between the number one overall pick and the number two overall pick is 400 points, according to the scale. Mice, that's the same difference between the number 15 overall pick and the last pick in the first round, right? That's like getting Micah Parsons and like Jalen Rager. Right. That's the kind of gap. If you move up, that's the kind of value that's created between the one and two overall pick. That's how huge it is. It's not just one spot. It's that much value you can create for your team there. And if you're thinking long term, which is what I think the GM is doing, which I think Everflus is doing, they've kind of played that way this year, trading away Smith, uh, you know, um, trading away Quinn, you know, freeing up all this cap space. The right long term move is to lose this game. Hope the Colts lose to the uh, Houston Texans, get them the number one overall draft pick, and then trade back and get whatever value you can there because there's a lot of value to be had. Last point I want to leave you with, Nick. Last major play time Nathan Peterman had back in 2018. He had 81 passing attempts, 296 yards, one touchdown, seven interceptions. That's awesome. <laughs> Playoff season is here, and we all know that the only thing that matters this time of year is being clutch, and nothing is more clutch than having a wireless carrier built on the nation's largest 5G network. The only carrier with that title is, of course, Mint Mobile, who we're partnering with for today's video. Mint Mobile offers premium wireless for low as $15 a month, and you don't have to sacrifice any coverage, speed, or data. They're built on the nation's largest 5G network. They keep the cost.